Truths and became thought of as a theory or definition of truth. I think it would, would have been better if the pragmatists had said, we can tell you about justification, but we can't tell you about truth. There's nothing to be said about it. And that is, we know how we justify beliefs. We know that the adjective true is the word we apply to the beliefs that we've justified. We know that a belief can be true without being justified. That's about all we know about truth. And you know, justification is relative to an audience and to a range of truth candidates. Truth isn't relative to anything. Just because it isn't relative to anything, there's nothing to be said about it. <laughs> and tr truth with a capital T is sort of like God. Uh, you know, there's not much you can say about God. That's why theologians talk about ineffability. Contemporary pragmatists tend to say the word true is indefinable, but none the worse for that. We know how to use it. We don't have to define it. Uh, if you define the, 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 the Nietzsche term, uh, there are no facts, there are only interpretations. Yes, yeah, that, that gives the general pragmatist idea that no description, or if you like, no interpretation, is closer to reality than any other. Some of them are more useful for some purposes than others, but that's about all you can say. And Nietzschean perspectivism, which says, you know, you can't rise above interpretations and get the facts, or dig down below interpretations and get the facts, is substantially the same thing as I meant before when I said the pragmatists try to get rid of the reality appearance distinction.